everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. I am here today with a comparison video of these two handbags right here. And the two are the Polen Numero Un Nano in the lilac color and Chanel in the mini cocoa handle. This is the white iridescent, uh, I believe from the 19K collection. They both are very similar firsthand look, which is why I think a few of you have requested this comparison. And I do think that there are similarities and with the Chanel cocoa handle, the mini and the micro size being very popular this year, um, I believe there are a, a bunch out for the 21A and 21B and probably 21K. Hey, um, if I could find any photos of the upcoming Chanel season handbags, I will pop them into the screen here. But yes, like I said, if you are looking for something that looks like the Chanel Coco Mini handle or even the Micro Coco handle, you might want to take a look at this as it is very similar. And in this video, I will go through some of the similarities and differences, pros and cons of the two. I also want to throw in an extra one here, and that is the Mulberry Mini Alexa. Now, as you can see, all three of them have a very very similar features. I don't know if I can hold all three. <laughs> Let's see if I could do it. Um, there we go. All of them look very similar in that they have this sort of trapezoidal dumpling shape. Um, they all have a little top handle and a crossbody strap that can be removable and maybe adjustable depending on which one you're looking at. Before we get started, I just wanted to introduce myself. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I love handbags. I do comparison reviews and unboxings. I also do a lot of travel, luxury and fashion videos. So definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. I know a lot of you who watch this aren't subscribed and it would mean a lot to me if you could just click the subscribe button, it's free, um, just so that you'll be notified of my future videos. So let's get started. I think there will be a few things I'll cover today and I'll try to put timestamps below if you just wanna to skip to those parts, but I'll be covering the you know size differences, what can fit, ways to wear it, pros and cons of that, and then uh, of course the price. So yeah, let's start off with the measurements. We will look at this one because I think this one's probably the smallest actually. So across, now this is very rough because obviously I'm, 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 it's like, it's not flat or anything, but just looking at it, this one is about eight and a half inches across. It is about five and a half inches tall and the depth is about three and a half inches. And it actually can fit a lot. So I'll show you in a little bit what can actually fit inside and it's probably more than you would think. All right, the next one that I'm gonna measure is this mini Alexa. Across, it is about eight and a half inches. The, the height is about six inches, so a little bit taller than the Polen bag. And the depth is, it ranges, but the largest depth is about four, four and a quarter inch. So again, deeper and uh, taller, but I think width wise, it's about the same. Okay, finally, the measurement for the Chanel mini cocoa handle and at the widest across it's nine inches. So this one is pretty much the same as this one in, in width or across. <laughs> the height is about five, maybe in three quarter inch. So it's maybe the height between the two, uh, between the Polen and the mulberry and that the depth at the widest is about three and a half. So this one is closer to the depth of this bag and it's not as deep as the mulberry. So as you can see, all of them have sides that are similar and then all of them also have sides that are slightly different from each other, but overall they're very close. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is what I can put in it. I think that would be more helpful in what you actually will use the bag for. So currently I have my Alexa filled up. So I'm going to show you what's in there. If you have not seen my previous video of this bag, I actually ordered my personalized customized organizer, which is a wonder because once I did that, I was able to close this bag so easily and I've been using it so much more often now. So anyway, that's just a little, I'll, I'll include the video of this, of this organizer below so that you, if you want more information, it's there. So I have a lippy right here. I also have a pair of sunglasses right on top, right there. And then I have three items there. Um, I have a 
Senrev card holder. This is the Wave card holder. I've spoken about it before many, many times. I have a Louis Vuitton clay, which has all my house keys, car keys, etc., in there. And then finally, I have a Chanel egg cream. Whoop. There we go. So this is what I, I would take with me today and the sunglasses pop back right on top, but I can easily fit more stuff if I wanted to like, I could fit a compact, I can fit like, I don't know, more SLGs. So I'm gonna show you, um, so this is what I normally would bring, but I guess I should also show you that my phone does fit in here. So I'm gonna pop it right there. So if I were to take it with me, that's where it would go. I know some of you might also wonder if things, certain things can fit. So this is a Louis Vuitton, mini pochette and that fits no problem in there as you can see along with my other items so right there you can see that it still can fit everything that i've shown you before and then uh the victorine wallet right here if i just plop that on top it would still fit as you can see with my sunglasses right there so i'll just show you closed up right there so yeah as you can see it could probably fit more stuff honestly but it's getting quite heavy so i probably um, leave it at that uh, this is more than what i normally would bring but all of that can fit in here that's what fits inside the mulberry i am going to swap these items into the chanel mini cocoa handle uh, by the way this one does come with a cross body strap this is removable but not adjustable i just haven't put it on here just because uh, i think it gets sort of in the way i'll put it on later to show you mod shots but okay so here's what this one looks like now if you recall the bag that i was just showing you which is the mulberry it is one big compartment which allows it to fit a lot of stuff so this one has it's separated by this middle uh, I guess like fabric material, yeah. It, oh, by the way, currently the mini handles coming out, or I think any of the Coco handles um, coming out are lined with leather as well. This is fabric, so they are more luxurious. It's a little, probably a little bit heavier, but yeah, if, you, if you've been always wanting a Coco handle, but you wanted it more luxurious feeling, well, you're in luck because the Chanel 21A, 21B, and 21K will come out with leather lined versions. All right, so I'm just going to set this down. The first one I'll show you is the Victorine wallet right here, and it'll drop in very easily. It can also drop in tall ways like so. The Louis Vuitton mini pochettes. So I have it slipped back in the, or sorry, I guess in the front right there. I can also turn this one to the side if I want it to like that. But I think if I wanted to fit more things, I'd keep it standing up. I have the clay. The clay can fit, I don't know if you can see, but it slipped back right there. It just drops right back there. Um, I also have my card holder from Senrev, which I can drop right there. I have a lippy, this is a Charlotte Tilbury one, which I could also, it fell back there, I don't know if you can see, but it's right here. So it slips right there, and then the Chanel egg cream. Oof, that was gonna be tough, but you can see that I just uh, squeezed it in right there. And then sunglasses, <laughs> right on top, does it close? And it closes. Okay, so it's it's much more snug compared to the mulberry bag, but you can see that this one has feet. Um, you can see that it does all fit in here quite well. And yeah, I like I said, this is more stuff than I would normally bring. So I just wanted to show you though, you can do it. It's very, very full. <laughs> all right, so let's move all the items from the cocoa handle, which everything from the mulberry did end up fitting in here. Let's see if it could fit into here because I think this one is by far the smaller of the three. So I just wanna show you that the bag inside is one big compartment with a slip pocket right there. So it's, so it's more similar in layout as the Mulberry, uh, whereas the Coco handle did have something across. So hopefully that would mean it could fit more stuff. I did unpop these buttons here that hold it together. You, you don't need to pop these buttons together to hold the shape. So for example, if I just closed this, you can see that it still has that dumpling shape look. 
um, but you can. It's just when you do that, your, your opening to this bag is a lot smaller, whereas if it's unpopped, then you can do this. Going with the biggest item, I do have, again, the mini pochettes. And then that, that easily falls in there. The Victory Wallet is next. And that should fit in here, no problem. Yep, yes, it's no problem. I can also stand it up straight. Yep, I could stand it up straight and it'll be fine. I have my clay here and it'll just sit right next to the Victorine wallet right there. And then my Senrev card holder. I slipped that up in the front right there. Right there. Then I have a lippy, which I'll just drop into here, and then an egg cream. Also drop in here. So that's everything. The egg cream is here, the lippy is here and the SLGs are all kind of in here. Finally, I have my sunglasses and that will just lay right on top there. Okay, so let's see if it'll fit because it is really full. <gasps> okay, it fit, but yeah, it is. This is the max capacity and <laughs> yep. This one has four feet as well. Oh, the only one that doesn't have feet is actually the mulberry doesn't have feet. Just, I just want to point that out. All right, so surprisingly, this fit everything. In conclusion, all three of these bags fit the same amount of things. There was a little bit more space in the mulberry mini Alexa compared to the mini Coco handle and the Polenumer Unano. Now, I think that also has to do with the fact that this one has a more supple leather, so you could probably maneuver it better. So what ended up fitting in all three was a mini pochette from Louis Vuitton, a Victorine wallet, it's a compact wallet, a card holder, a hand cream, a lippy, and a pair of sunglasses. So that is quite a bit of things. Um, I think you can probably add in a couple more things into this bag, but in terms of the pull-in and for the Chanel, I think we're at max capacity. All right, so now I'm gonna go into how I can style and wear each one of these bags. I'm gonna start off with the pull-in. This one has a top handle. It also has a crossbody strap that is adjustable and you could remove it by these little stud and little holes here. So I can wear it on my shoulder like this. I can also wear it crossbody like this or I can hand held it, but I can probably only put it on my wrist. For the Chanel mini cocoa handle, I can again hold it by the handle. I can hold it on my wrist, maybe a little bit on the forearm. This one does have a little bit higher top handle, but it's very stiff. You cannot bend this one. There is a removable shoulder strap, which I could wear on the shoulder. And I can also wear it crossbody. For most people, this probably wouldn't be very comfortable because of how stiff this handle is. And it does kind of dig in, especially if you're taller. So I'm 5'1", which means I'm kind of on the shorter side of the population, and this barely fits me. So I think for most people, unless you get a different strap to put onto here, this one will likely be only used as a shoulder bag. Finally, I have the Mulberry Mini Alexa. This one does, again, have the top handle. It is a squishier top handle, so, you know, but it is a lot shorter. So it's more comfortable in the sense like it's flexible, but I think you can only hold it in your hand. I think like if I wedged it in, I could hold it on my wrist, but it does require some like <laughs> wiggling. It has a removable and adjustable crossbody strap here, which is great because you can wear it on the shoulder like so, or you can wear it crossbody like so. I am 5'1", and the shortest one is a little bit long for me on the one shoulder, but I, you can also easily uh, pull punch another leather hole, and I think then it'd be perfect for me. But even with it like slightly longer, it doesn't bother me that much. It's, it's like right on the cusp of being too long, but still doable. I personally think that the Palen bag is great for more casual and sort of uh, 
more girly outfits, if you will. And of course you can wear this with any outfits, but I, I would think of when I would pair it with something would be like more floral dresses, but I could also see it with like a nice blouse or something like that. And the color that I picked it in, I think is very spring and summer appropriate for this bag. I could see myself also just running errands with this one. The mini Alexa from Mulberry is a little bit more casual. I could see myself being a little bit more grungy and edgy with this bag. I could see myself wearing it with a leather jacket. I could see it, you know, going to the park. Um, again, running errands, weekly errands, uh, weekend errands. Since this bag can fit a little bit more, I could see myself, if, if it's a longer day, I'd probably end up bringing this one just because I could put more items in it and uh, be a little bit more flexible um, with what I carry. Finally, the mini cocoa handle from Chanel is definitely more of the dressy side compared to the rest of these two bags. This one definitely feels more like bright um, and also like, more special, like more glam, I guess. <laughs> um, it, it is more winter white, but I could see myself wearing in the spring and summer as well. I did pick all these colors because I could feel like they could be worn year round, but for more of a dressy feel, a dressy outfit, I definitely see myself wearing this one um, over the other two. I don't see myself really wearing this to the park as much. To sum it up, this is more dressy, this is more like edgy, and this is more like girly, if that makes sense. <laughs> so the last thing I was gonna talk about is the price. Now, they all vary greatly in price, which is why it makes it so interesting to compare all three of these. As you've already seen, the they fit about the same amount of things. They wear very similarly in that they have a top handle, crossbody strap, and it's removable. And they do all serve different sort of styles, but you can always mix and match them. So the big difference here, the key difference is the price. Let me just tell you. Going from the least, this one comes in at $260 to $360, I believe, depending on the leather type that you get. So they come in a variety of colors. They're usually more neutral colors that I've seen from Polen. So you are able to pick a lot of different neutrals if that's your thing. But yes, the price point is amazing on this bag. And even though it's on the lower end of the three, it does hold its own. It feels durable, it's full leather, it is fabric lined, but it is very durable. Yeah, I have not seen any wear and tear on this bag or color transfer. So I think for the price, this one is like a really good value. Coming in next on price is the Mulberry Mini Alexa. This one is the smallest of, I believe, the three sizes they have. And this one comes in right about $1,000 USD. These are all in US dollars. So um, this one, you can maybe find deals on it sometimes. Um, I, I have seen some sites with coupon codes and I'll try to list the one that I found where it is about $50 cheaper than other sites and so I'll link that below if it's still available but yeah this one is definitely a good but in between of the other two. It does have a more supple, you know, large grain calfskin leather and it does smell amazing. It's supple but it still is durable. So so far I have not seen any again any wear and tear or any like color transfer. So I'm very happy with it so far. This is the newest one though. So I have not gotten as much use out of it as the other two, but regardless, I have not seen any issues. I would also highly recommend this if this falls within your price range. Finally, we come to the last bag here, which is from Chanel. And you know, anything from Chanel is gonna increase the price drastically. It does look amazing though. So I could see why uh, you're not just paying for the name. Yes, a big part of it is you're paying for the name, but it does have the quality. It does have the craftsmanship built into it. Now this bag, it does, I just checked, cause I bought this uh, a couple years ago now and the, there have been definitely price increases over the years and yes this one is now about $3,800 I believe for the mini size there's also an extra mini size which I I have tried on for me the shoulder strap is a little bit too long and because it's not adjustable it's it's problematic for me however if you found that this strap is too short for you on the mini, then the extra mini or the micro, or I don't know what we're calling it, but I think it's called the extra mini um, 
cocoa handle would be better for you to wear crossbody. Yes, it is quite steep, but I still, I have no regrets about getting this one. I think it's gorgeous. It is a caviar in the white color. I haven't noticed any real wear and tear or color transfer. I am more careful with it because it is a <laughs> light bag. But like I said, I think it's worth the money. This one um, does have the fabric material. So the $3,800 for the current style is with the leather um, lining, which I think is a pretty good deal for all, an all leather in and out bag. So there we are. Those are the three bags. I hope for those of you who've requested this video, I hope this answered all of your questions. If there are any lingering ones, definitely leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. Thank you so much for watching and for your requests. Keep them coming and I'll try to make them in my future videos. Um, I have a few unboxings. I have a few reviews and comparisons coming up soon. So definitely hit the subscribe button and follow me there. Or also follow me on my Instagram at clutch to carry all where I will show a lot of these outfit photos photos um, so you can see it better styled with an outfit. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!